month, two million people Google John 3.16, the Bible's most famous verse. For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. On Instagram, the hashtag John 3.16 has a quarter of a million posts. On TikTok, John 3.16 has been viewed 56 million times. It's been printed on t-shirts, billboards, shopping bags, and soft drink cups. It's been memorized by Sunday school kids and painted on athletes' faces. Jesus himself first spoke these words and they continue to echo in hearts today. It's the Bible's best known verse and for good reason. Martin Luther called it the gospel in miniature. In fact, the only reason the church exists and has a message and a mission is because God so loves the world. That's why at Calvary, we're convinced helping people know Jesus is our highest priority and our greatest responsibility. Calvary Worldwide is the mission's expression of our church and is one of the most practical ways we help people in our city, our nation and our world know how much God loves them. It's because God so loves the world that we must be committed to helping people across the globe to know the message of Jesus. And it's because God so loves our world that we must be equally committed to helping people across the street to know Jesus in the very same way. So here's an overview of the Calvary Worldwide projects and partnerships we are supporting in the coming 12 months. In our cities, we fund the delivery of Alpha across every Calvary campus. Alpha is a proven and effective method to help people from all walks of life understand and explore the Christian faith. We fund numerous programs supporting students at university campuses in Cairns, Townsville, Sunshine Coast and Rockhampton. The majority of our Calvary campuses are located within close proximity to some of the most significant universities in our state, making university ministry a strategic area of investment for our church. In primary and high schools, we resource the facilitation of religious instruction along with outreach initiatives initiated by our Calvary kids and youth teams and students. Through Calvary Worldwide, we fund our commitment to church planting. We have Calvary campuses in eight cities with preparations underway to launch two new campuses in Brisbane and Port Moresby. Church planting is the most effective and lasting strategy to impact cities with the gospel. For that reason, we invest significantly into this work. In Australia, we partner with the Bible Society to reach our nation's Indigenous community. Many Indigenous and Torres Strait Islander people are still waiting to open the Bible in their heart language. Through this partnership, we support the translation and distribution of God's Word, empowering Indigenous Christians to share the Gospel more effectively to their communities. Around the world, in Borneo, we support Living Waters Village, providing care, security, education and hope to thousands of children who would otherwise go without. In East London, South Africa, we resource youth and young adults initiatives to enlarge the scope of our reach in high schools and university campuses in proximity to our Calvary campus. In the Middle East, we stand with the persecuted church by partnering with Open Doors. In Iraq, where many Christians experience the destruction and looting of their homes and towns, Centres of Hope provide discipleship, trauma rehabilitation programs and practical help, equipping Middle Eastern believers to faithfully remain in communities that desperately need the light and hope of Jesus. Church, last year, in addition to our tithe and expansion offering pledges, we gave around $320,000 to Calvary Worldwide, resourcing all of these vital missions expressions. But we're believing that in the coming 12 months, we would lift that to $400,000 so that we can ramp up our commitment to evangelism and church planting. Here's how we're gonna do it. Instead of one missions offering in the calendar year, we encourage everyone in Calvary to embrace the mission personally by becoming a worldwide partner. I think almost everyone in our church could give five or 10 or $20 each week toward the mission. That's equivalent to a cup of coffee, more if you drink oat milk or a McDonald's meal. The reality is many of us are already giving that much each week or month to the mission of Spotify or Netflix. If you've not yet become a Calvary Worldwide partner, let me encourage you to get involved it's simple to sign up. You choose the amount and the giving frequency and together as a church family, we help many more people know the love of Jesus. And to all of our existing worldwide partners, thank you for your continued generosity. Let's continue to be large hearted and focused, resourcing the work 
through our ongoing commitment. God so loved the world. That's our message and our mission. Let's continue to make a difference in our cities, our nation and our world.